Okay, let's so look at the guitar, so your motor breath, and uh, I broke it up into a small pieces. Uh, slide number one and two will cover the first solo, and the following four slides will cover the rest, uh, the second solo, mm -hmm. at the end of the song. Okay, so the first one, start like this. Yeah, something like that, and obviously it's not... When they play that fast, it's not always uh, easy to transcribe every single note here, but I am I think this is what they play anyway. And so the first bar, they actually use a lot of wah. Uh, and you know, I don't actually have any wah pedal, I don't like the wah sound, but, <laughs> but I think they, they're kind of holding that shape and apply the wah effect over the first bar. And then uh, in the second bar, we have this little leak. Right, and then in the, uh, in the third bar and the fourth bar, all right. So that I hope it's not too complicated. Um, well, I mean it is fast, obviously, if you want to play it up to speed, but. But uh, you shouldn't have too many problems memorizing all those leaks because they are quite repetitive and uh, I mean they're based on pentatonic uh, uh, C sharp minor pentatonic scale. So uh, uh, that would be the first part of the solo and uh, the second part, right? And here in the second part, we're gonna play this. And uh, if you play it slowly, you're gonna start with the kind of a lick that they often do in uh, the first two albums in the soloing, uh, in the guitar, on the guitar solos. So they kind of uh, start uh, in the. Uh, you're gonna start with the seventh fret on E, ring finger. You're gonna slide it up to the ninth fret, and you're gonna hit seventh fret on A twice. Okay. And then you're gonna pretty much repeat the same thing, but you're gonna start on the 9th fret on A and slide up to the 11 and then hit 9th on D twice. Right? And then you're gonna play the rest of the first bar. And uh, you know, I'm not really sure which notes they play legato, which notes they pick, so you can, you know, play it according to your convenience pretty much here. So. <laughs> Right, and in the second bar, you're gonna have this, and at the very end of that bar, you're gonna quickly come up here, and what I used to, do, what I prefer to do is to hit the 18th fret on G with my uh, middle finger and bend it up a little bit, and then play the 16th fret on B with your index finger. All right? Uh, sorry. Yeah, and then in the third bar, uh, in the second line, uh, sorry, in the first bar, in the second line. Right? So, uh, right after this uh, little uh, unison bend, at the end of the first line, you're gonna come and uh, bend the 19th fret on B with your ring finger, and also help the bend. With your in, uh, with your middle finger here, okay, like this, All right? So again, bend the 19th fret on B with the help of with two fingers, and then hit the 16th fret on E with an upstroke. And then repeat that three times, but the, uh, <clears throat> uh, the third time you play this uh, unison bend, you're gonna play it fast, okay? So the first two times is a bit slower. Like this, okay? So. Alright? So those are the first two beats in the second line. 
And then uh, at the end, it should be simple. Right, and then end the solo with that little bend on 19th fret. And then. Yeah, and yeah. When I play it fast, like, I don't always play the same, <laughs> everything the same way. I kind of introduce some other notes, but I mean, some improvisation is okay, I think. Uh, Alright, so that's the first solo. Let's continue on to the second solo. Alright, and then the second guitar solo, uh, <clears throat> the first line is just repetitive. Uh, repetitive like this, okay? So. Uh, I'm gonna play this thing eight times in total, and then uh, in the second line, uh, that little uh, part may be a bit tricky at first, but basically it's. Uh, so I think it's something like this. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, And yeah, slowly it goes something like that, right? Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a little tricky, but I hope you can uh, you can get it. Um, so basically, we have like a series of pull-offs to open string, starting on twelve and then the nine. Take twice, and then you chromatically descend. Right there to eight five. And open, and then in the final bit, in the first, yeah, in the first bar, in the second line, we're gonna have slightly different things. So seven, four, four, four. All right, and then in the final bar, All right, again. All right, so that's the first part. And then in the next part, we're gonna have this. Uh, so, a bit slower. Then I went into the next part, but uh, if we play it uh, from the beginning, so we have gonna have uh, this little lick based on the G sharp minor chord. Okay, so so there's a little Dorian sound to it because of the major six here. And then in the next bar. Right, and then the second line, and the final bar. Yeah, and uh, right at the end of the of the lead of the line, we're gonna have nine to eleven on G, which introduces the next lick that we have on the next side. And uh, this lick is a bit more tricky, but it kind of goes like this. Yeah, then you're gonna start on the new lick on, at the end. But uh, this part, and you know, I'm not exactly sure if I'm if I get all the notes correct here, because um, the way I transcribe it now, it's a kind of a tough lick uh, <laughs> if you're gonna play it fast. Yeah, but it, it sounds like that to me anyway. Uh, so basically, you're gonna have this little blues stuff here. Uh, sorry, uh, bend 11 fret on G, and then you go uh, 9 and 9 on B and E strings, and then you're gonna bend the 12 fret on B and kind of pull it off to 9 on the same string, obviously. Like this, okay? 
then you're gonna bend 11 on E and go 9 on E and then bend 15, uh, 12 fret on B twice right? and uh, it's a tough lick, uh, it's, uh, you gotta have a good strength in your, in your left hand fingers if you're gonna bend the strings uh, that fast and uh, with that force, so yeah, see, it's not easy, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's something like that. But you can obviously simplify it a little bit if you want. Uh, uh, okay, but I think that's what they play anyway, and uh, the 11 fret bend on here, I play with my middle finger. And then 12th fret on B, I, I play with my ring finger, okay? And uh, and this is kind of what makes it so difficult because normally I would use my ring finger on G and my pinky on uh, on B, but now that it goes so fast, I can't really use those fingers, so at least I cannot do that. I prefer to use my those fingers instead. Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, you might want to. I don't know. You might want to. Might want to uh, um, try something different. You know, try different finger placements or something like that. Uh, if you if you are better, um, if you are more acquainted with those kinds of licks using different fingers, then you obviously you're gonna you're gonna use them instead of the way I play it here. Uh, and then in the second bar. Uh, sorry. Right, so we're gonna, and it's not too complicated, uh, luckily, but it's gonna like, go like this slowly. Right, and at the end of the uh, of the line, we're gonna start on the new lick, which continues on the next slide. Right, here we go. So. Uh, at the end of the previous slide, we had this quick in some bend, 19 fret on B and 16 on E. And here we're gonna play this again, but we're gonna play them a bit slower here. Uh, like this, and then again with a bend, but faster. Right, so all together, including the ending of the previous bar, we're gonna have one quick bend here, and then we're gonna have two slower bends. And then one quick again. Okay, so all together. Uh, one, two, three. Like this. Okay. And then uh, the remaining part of the um, of the link of the line is like this. Okay, so a bit slower. Right, and that shouldn't be too complicated. And finally, uh, in the second line, you're gonna bend the 18th fret on G, and you're gonna play that lick okay, twice. And then in the final bar, right, so the whole thing. Right, and a bit slower. Alright, and those will be the two solos to motor breath. Have fun with that. <laughs>